Okay, y'all, we're getting ready to go out of town for our soccer trip again this weekend. We are going to, where are we going? Greensboro, North Carolina. I think Greensboro, North Carolina, somewhere out there. So we, I just got finished taking a shower and throwing on some real quick makeup. And now I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm packing to take along and I'm going to take you along with us. You ready? Ready for a road trip? Let's go. I am getting ready to go out of town for the weekend as normal, as per usual. So we are going to pack. Cooler has lots of waters. So I'm taking this, which I've never tried before, so I'll let you know if I have it. Some of my favorite pork rinds, the Epic pork rinds, they are by far the yummiest. These are some protein almonds that I always bring just in case. My favorite performance bar, just in case. And then I'm going to put some of these wisps in a um, baggie. There, you get 23 per serving, so I'm kind of going to count them out. And that is what I am taking. Oh, let's throw this in. I forgot I had those. Some pilly nuts, which are really, really yummy and a one of the best um, keto nuts you can get other than macadamia nuts. They are not as easy to find, but by far my fave. I almost forgot one of the most important things to set myself up for success. Last time I did not take stuff for my Bulletproof coffee and that really threw me off. So I am going to pack my Bulletproof coffee stuff and I almost forgot it. All right, let's grab that. Okay. Pumpkin spice sweet drops. And we are going to take the original power creamer. This is not my favorite. The vanilla one's my favorite, but I need to use this one up and it'll still be good. So we're going to take those two things. Ready? Yeah, just about. And I'm going to throw in a few of these bars for my um, husband and daughter. These are just protein bars from Kirkland and some little Skippy peanut butter. All right, we are off. We got Care Bear back there. The other two are staying with my dad. And there's Jay. So just the three of us on this one. Let's go. Greensboro. Greensboro, I was right. Greensboro, North Carolina, I wasn't sure. That's where we're going. All right, we are stopping. It's about 2.30. We are going to run into Smash Burger and get a burger to go and Jay's gonna go down the to the next door to Starbucks and get me my white peach tea. All right, so I got the spicy Baja with an extra patty and no bun, so that has avocado and bacon and pepper jack cheese. Here is my white peach tea that Jason got me. It is white peach tea with a light heavy whipping cream. I order it no classic and no water. And I just added a squirt of this Sweet Drops Vanilla. So they don't do lettuce buns, which was... They don't do lettuce buns, which was kind of frustrating, but we will just see what we can do. Oh my gosh, come on. You're going to need a weight, babe. I do it now. Alright, so I will just do the best I can eating this with a fork and a knife. It's going to be a little messy, but... Such is life on the road. We are here. Caroline and Jason have hopped out of the car. Jason has to coach because her regular coach was red carded last year. So he's not allowed to be here for this first game. And I think he's coaching his college team anyways. Not that y'all care. So, so I have time to kill. I'm reading a really good book. It is called... Oh, what's it called, Erica? It's called Jar of Hearts. Shelly on Shelly's Home Life mentioned it, and I was like, like she talked about it a little bit, and it made me like really interested. It sounded like something I really wanted to, would really like, and I always like to have a book that I can have on my phone for when we're traveling, like in the car and stuff, just to occupy the old mind. All right. I'm just gonna chill and read Jar of Hearts. I am so hooked on this book and then waste these next 45 minutes and then go watch my girl play. This is my first um, first game of the season for my girls. So she is 14, they're a U15 team. So it should be fun. 
I will show a little bit of it, of course, as I always do, and try and be able to point out which one's mine. Go ahead. It's 8.40. We're on our way to drive to Durham to get Goodberries. Which is like an hour from here. No, 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 no. It's only an hour from here. Plus, this gives me handles and Goodberries in the same month. <laughs> These crazy people. They need their ice cream. Caroline's never had it before. Yeah, experience. All right. You said you lived off of it when you were pregnant. Yeah, so. I did. I did live off of it when I was pregnant. Goodberries mm -hmm. is good stuff. Yep. Two for me, only one for her. Though. All right. Y'all have fun. I, on the other hand, am already in my jammies and I am watching some YouTube and then I'm going to do some editing. I um, haven't had anything else to eat. I had that big burger and it was really, really filling. So I'm probably not going to eat anything else. Um, I probably have maybe a bar in a bit and I'll show you having some white wine. I'm going to have two glasses of this. And that will fit in my macros, so I'm doing it. It's good. Nice Pinot Grigio. Alright y'all, this is what I had for dinner. It's kind of hodgepodge. I had two servings, probably two, yeah, like two servings of this epic pork rinds. I talked about these yesterday, I think, but these are my favorite. And then Performix Protein Wafer. I had on purpose decided that I could have wine because I knew that I had stayed like less than five carbs for the day if I didn't have the wine. So, I haven't had wine since the last out of town trip, but we are having it tonight. Sorry for the lighting, y'all. All right. Good night. Sleep tight. I will talk with y'all again tomorrow because I'm going to do a full weekend of eating. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. It is Sunday morning, and we are about to head to the next game. I've got to get dressed here real quick. Um, just wanted to show y'all what I'm having for breakfast doing my bulletproof coffee. This is a Starbucks coffee with heavy cream and I'm going to add my a tablespoon of this and my sweet drops and I brought my little frother thing so I'll just get it all mixed up and that should give me a good start to my day. Put a new battery in this. It is frothing like crazy. Love this tool. It's the best. If you don't have a good quality milk frother and you like to do bulletproof coffees, you need to get one. This is the brand that I use. Air Latte. Y'all, it's fall in North Carolina. This is the first day that I've had like a chilly morning. Like, I'm wearing summer type clothes and it's like 66 degrees. So I'm glad I wore some pants, but I have short sleeves. But I'll take it. I'll just bundle up in blankets. It feels like fall, y'all. All right, Caroline. You ready for this game? Yeah. We're gonna do better this time. They had a little bit of a rough game last night. It's the first game of the season. So hopefully this game, their little butts will be in gear. I just got out of the car to go watch this game. It is cold. It's too cold for me. I'm not ready to be this cold. Was not prepared. All right, but there is a space near the field that I can watch from the car. So, and there's the field. They look like little dots, but that's really not as far away as it looks on camera. That's my girl right there. Number 24. Maggie in the net. Yes. Game over. It was super hard fought. Um, the other team's parents were just nasty and it was embarrassing listening to them. I hate to lose when it's something like that. But they fought really hard and they just lost by one. They played really well, so I'm proud of them. 
All right, lunch is gonna be Zaxby's. I'm gonna get some wings. I'll show you in a minute. Caroline was not in the mood for burgers or chicken, so we ended up at Zaxby's. I guess she's still doing chicken. All right, I don't usually get sodas, but I love, love, love when I can do Coke Zero with vanilla, so we're gonna do that. Coke Zero. I don't know how to kill it. Vanilla. Yum. All right, I got 10 wings. They smell really, really good. It's gonna be interesting eating these in the car, but I'd rather keep going and get home. Sunday night dinner. I'm gonna just cut the carb wrap with a little bit of pizza sauce and some pepperoni and cheese and pepperoncinos. Yum. Looking forward to eating this. I gotta let it cool off. I don't wanna let it cool off. I wanna eat it now. Now. So that sums up a full weekend of eating. I did not do amazing, but I didn't do bad. If I had not had the white wine, I would have said it was probably a perfect weekend. I had the white wine, had a little more of it than I should have, and got the munchies and ate stuff last evening that I didn't really need to eat, but I still stayed in my macros, so it is what it is. I can always improve next time. I think next time the goal is going to be no wine at all because that seems to be what's tripping me up on these weeks away. I let myself have wine when we're out and... You know, it's not the end of the world, it's fine, but if I want to continue to see weight loss as much as I struggle with losing weight, I know that's not something that helps me, it only hinders me. So it's over, it was a good weekend, it was fast and long at the same time, a lot of driving in the car, but it was worth it, we had a good time. So that's it for the weekend. Bye, y'all.